Right, I'm going to read Horrid Henry's Bath Time, which I have never read before, so get ready. Horrid Henry loved baths. He loved causing great big tidal waves. He loved making bubble bath beards and bubble bath hats. He loved staging battles with Yellow Duck and Snappy Croc. He loved diving for buried treasure, fighting sea monsters and painting the walls with soapy suds. Best of all, being in the bath meant Peter couldn't bother him or wreck his games or get him into trouble. Henry stretched out in the lovely warm water. The bubbles were piled high to overflowing, just as he liked it. Slosh, slosh, slosh. A bucket load of soapy suds cascaded onto the floor. Yippee, the first tidal wave of the day. Good thing mum wasn't around. But then what mum didn't know wouldn't hurt her. Now what to do first, a croc and duck fight or the killer tidal wave. Hee <laughs> hee, cackled horrid Henry. Watch your tail, yellow duck, cause snappy croc is on the attack. Snap, snap, snap. Suddenly, the bathroom door opened. A slimy toad slithered in. Well, actually, it wasn't a slimy toad. It was Peter. Oi, get out of here, Peter, said Henry. Dad said we were to share a bath, said perfect Peter taking off his shirt. What? Liar, screeched horrid Henry. You are dead meat, he reached for his super soaker. Henry was not allowed to use it in the house, but this was an emergency. Ah, squealed Peter as a jet of water hit him in the face. Dad dashed in. Put that super soaker away or I'll confiscate it, shouted Dad. Henry's finger trembled on the trigger. Dad's red face was so tempting. Henry could see it now. Pow! Dad soaking wet. Dad screaming. Dad snatching the super soaker and throwing it in the rubbish bin and telling horrid Henry no TV for ever. Hmm. Dad's red face was a little less tempting. Just look at this floor, Henry, said Dad. What a waste of water. It's not a waste, said horrid Henry holding tight onto his super soaker in case Dad lunged. It's a tidal wave. Too much water is being wasted in this house, said Dad. From now on, you and Peter will share a bath. Horrid Henry could not believe his ears. Share a bath. Share the same bath with Smelly Peter. No way, said, said Henry. I don't mind sharing, Daddy, said Peter. We all have to do our bit to save water. But Peter pees in the bath, said Henry. I do not, said perfect Peter. Henry does. Liar, liar, and will be squashed, wailed Henry. And he likes the bath too cold. And he makes me sit by the taps. And he, that's enough, Henry, said Dad. Now make room for Peter. Horrid Henry ducked his head under the water. He was never coming back up. Never. Then they'd be sorry they made him share his bath with that ugly toad snot face telltale goody goody poo breath. I haven't read this before. It's quite good. <gasps> Horrid Henry got ready to go under the water, but he had to come up for air. If you don't make room for Peter, you'll be getting out now, said Dad, and no TV for a week. Scowling, horrid Henry moved his legs a fraction of an inch. Henry, said Dad. Horrid Henry moved his legs another fraction. I don't want to sit by the taps, said Peter. They hurt my back. Well, I don't want to sit there either, said Henry, and I was here first. I'm not moving. Just get in, Peter, said Dad. Perfect Peter got in the bath and sat against the taps. His lower lip trembled. Ha ha, thought horrid Henry, stretching out his legs. Peter was all squished at the yucky end of the bath. Good. Serve him right for ruining Henry's fun. Na 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 na, you got the tap end, chortled horrid Henry. Daddy, the bath's too hot, moaned Peter. 
I'm boiling, Dad added cold water. Too cold, screeched hurried Henry. I'm freezing, Dad added hot water. It's too hot, said perfect Peter. Dad sighed. New house rule. The person who sits by the taps decides the temperature, said Dad, letting in a trickle of cold water. Now, I don't want to hear another peep out of either of you, he added, closing the bathroom door. Horrid Henry could have punched himself. Why hadn't he thought of that? If he was by the taps, he'd be the bath king. Move, said Henry. No, said Peter. I want to sit by the taps, said Henry. Too bad, said Peter. I'm not moving. Make it hotter, ordered Henry. No, said Peter. I control the temperatures because I'm sitting by the taps. Dad, shouted horrid Henry. Peter wants the bath too cold. Mummy, shouted Peter. Henry wants the bath too hot. I'm freezing. I'm boiling. Be quiet, both of you, screamed Dad from the kitchen. Horrid Henry glared at Peter. Perfect Peter glared at Henry. Move your legs, said Henry. I'm on my side, said Peter. Henry kicked him. No, you're not, said Henry. Peter kicked him back. Henry splashed him. Mum, shrieked Peter. Henry's being horrid. It's Peter that's being horrid. Make him stop. Ah, screeched Peter. Ah, screeched Henry. Stop fighting, boys, screamed Mum. Perfect Peter picked up his yellow duck. Give me my yellow duck, said Henry. No, said Peter, but it's my duck. It's mine. Slap, slap, slap. Water was going everywhere. Wow, well, Peter, Mum. Mum ran in. What is going on in here? He hit me, said Peter. He hit me, said Henry. That's it, both of you, out. Hmm, looks like it could be another day. We'll see. Bath time, boys, said Mum the next evening. Horrid Henry raced upstairs. This time he'd make sure he was the first one in. But when he reached the bathroom, a terrible sight met his eyes. There was Peter, no clothes on, already sitting at the tap end. Henry couldn't, could practically see the ice cubes floating on the freezing water. Ugh! Another bath time ruined. Henry stuck his toe in. It's too cold, said Henry. And I don't want to have a bath with Peter. It's too cold. I want my own bath. Stop making a fuss and get in, said Mum. And no fighting. I'm leaving the door open. Horrid Henry got into the bath. <laughs> he was turning into an icicle. Well, not for long. He had a brilliant, spectacular plan. Stop making ripples, hissed horrid Henry. You have to keep the water smooth. I am keeping the water smooth, said Henry. Shh, hold still. Why? said Peter. I wouldn't splash if I were you, whispered Henry. It doesn't like splashing. Why are you whispering, said Peter. Because there's a monster in the bathtub, said Henry, and he doesn't like too much noise. No, there isn't, is there, said Peter. It's the plug hole monster, said Henry. It sneaks up the drains, slithers through the plug hole and <coughs> down you go. You big liar, said Peter. He shifted slightly off the plug hole. Henry shrugged. It's up to you, he said. Don't say I didn't warn you. When the plug hole monster sucks you down the drain, don't say I didn't tell you about it. Peter scooted away from the plug hole. Mum, he howled, jumping out of the bath. Henry grabbed his spot, turned on the hot water and stretched out. Oh, sorry, there's the plug hole monster. <clears throat> P 
Peter continued to shriek. What is going on in here, said Mum and Dad, bursting into the bathroom. Henry said I was going to get sucked down the plug hole, snivelled Peter. Don't be so horrid, Henry, said Mum. Get out of the bath this minute. But, 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 said Henry. New house rules, said Mum. From now on, I'll run the bath and I'll decide the temperature. We'll see about that, thought horrid Henry. The next evening, Henry sneaked into the bathroom. A thin trickle of water dribbled from the tap. The bath was just starting to fill and he felt the water. <laughs> freezing cold just how he hated it peace to sorry peter must have fiddled with the temperature well no way henry turned up the hot tap full blast hot water gushed into the bath that's much better thought horrid henry he smiled and went downstairs from his bedroom peter heard henry stomping around from the bathroom what was he up to when the coast was clear, Peter tiptoed into the bathroom and dipped his fingers in the water. Ow! Boiling hot! Just how he hated it. Henry must have fiddled with the temperature. Mum would never make it that hot. Peter turned up the cold tap full blast. Much better, he thought, and tiptoed away. Mum and Dad were sitting in the kitchen drinking tea. Mum smiled. It's lovely and quiet upstairs, isn't it, dear? Dad smiled. I knew they'd be able to share a bath in the end. Mum stopped smiling. You see, Mum's realised that when things go quiet in the house, it means you guys are usually up to no good. Hmm, they were suspicious. Do you hear something? She said. Dad listened. Leave me alone, screamed Henry from the sitting room. You leave me alone, screamed Peter. Just the usual, said Dad. Didn't you put them in the bath, dear? Dad stopped, stopped smiling. No, didn't you? Mum looked at Dad. Dad looked at Mum. Plink, 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 plink. Plink, plink, plink. Water began to drip from the ceiling. I think I hear running water, screamed Mum. She dashed upstairs. Dad ran after her. Mum opened the bathroom door. Water gushed from the bathroom and roared down the stairs. Slip, slide, Mum landed on her bottom. Plop, Dad toppled into the bath. Splash! It wasn't me, screamed Henry. It wasn't me, wailed Peter. Then he burst into tears. Mum, wept Peter, I've been a bad boy. Snap, snap, snappy croc was defending his tail. Yellow duck was twisting it round and round to attack. Kaboom! Horrid Henry lay back in the bath and closed his eyes. Mum and Dad had decided to let Henry have baths on his own. To save water, they would take showers. The end. And now I'm off for my bath.